Hello, welcome to this uh, new video. We're gonna work with beautiful Avalanche roses. Um, this one is freaky, it has really nice uh, different shades of pink. And this one is the Dolce, uh, really nice soft pink. Uh, combined with some romantic materials. So uh, let's just start. To fit this square piece of uh, oasis, we cut off the corners of this piece. This really cool piece of fabric, I want to float in the air with these sticks. And right at this point, I'm gonna put some rope around so it can get grip and just make it extra strong and firm with some hot glue. This way I measure if these points are at the same height. So this nice decorative piece exactly the same as the other ones. Because I'm gonna play with the, the lines of the stems, I'm also gonna place these sticks in a little bit diagonal, just like that. And maybe we have to replace them. But first, we're gonna see how they turn out. So now it's time to place the flowers in this arrangement. And it's important that you have the right size to start with. So first we have to try a few times. And you can try before you place any rows in to see if it's the right size of the stem. And we want to use the diagonal lines in this creation. So this is what you get with just 12 roses. With this material, Scabiosa, you can make it easier for yourself by cutting all the pieces at the same length in the same time. And the stems are very thin, so it's easy to fit through the fabric. All right, I think this is enough. And the color of these uh, seed boxes fit really well with the, with the bowl that we used. So here we have some of the pa Passiflora, the passion flower. So I want the starting of the stem to be without any leaf so it can fit through this frame. And it goes inside the oasis and then it goes round and maybe a little bit over the arrangement. So this is sisal. I think it's really easy to work with, very quick, to cover up the oasis. So try to make it not as fluffy as it is. And we'll add some other materials, which will help. So now I would like to add some more of these dried seed boxes to really connect the top with the bottom. And I'm gonna take off some leaves because this will get too much. And this way you can really get to see these nice curls. So I think this turned out to be a very interesting, uh, nice arrangement with really cool lines and a romantic touch. So hopefully this one inspired you to create something cool for yourself with roses. And um, we'll hope to see you again in another video. Bye bye.